Hey everybody, welcome back to VNG Gaming. My name is Nick, and today I have something a little different for you. So you might have noticed on the channel I'm currently playing a Morrowind multiplayer series with my friends Tyler and Brandon. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely go do it. It's a lot of fun. Those guys are super zany to play with, and I love them. That's not why we're here, though. We're here because you might be wondering, how in the world do you play Morrowind multiplayer? I thought it was a single-player game. And the answer is mods. So today... I figured we would look at how to properly set up and play Morin multiplayer, either on one of the servers that you can join via server browsing, or by making your own online LAN server via something like Hamachi. So we're going to go over that. And there are two main things that you're going to need to download. The first one is the Elder Scrolls 3 MP download. So if you just go in and type TES3MP, it'll be the first one that pops up. Don't worry, I will have links to these in the description on where to go. So you won't have to type anything, you can just click on the link. But I'm going to just do this, and they have a lot of stuff for TES3MP. These guys and gals are amazing at what they're doing. It's awesome, and I love it. Um, but we're looking for the Quick Start Guide, and that will take us to GitHub for the Quick Start Guide. You can follow this guide. Um, and it works really well, but they don't explain everything that you need to know, especially about setting up your own, like, online LAN server. So we're just going to go to the GitHub release page. Now, as you notice, they have the TS3 MP VR um, one over here, which I might take a look at because VR Merwin sounds silly and, like, it'll hurt my brain. But that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for a TS3 MP 0.8.1. And from here, we're going to go to the assets, and we're going to download either the... Win64 release 0.8.1 zip if you have Windows as your operating system or the Linux one if you have Linux as your operating system. I'm using Windows, so we're going to download this one. Now, I'm actually going to cancel that download because I already have it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and we'll take a look at that in a moment. The other thing we're going to need is Hamachi, which is... <sighs> From my understanding, because I'm not entirely certain, Hamachi is of just a simple way, for me at least, I'm not sure what its real use is. It's a simple way to have a small server uh, hosted online, but locally, that lets you play games with your friends. That's what Hamachi is to me. I'm not sure exactly what it's used for. But you go to Hamachi, and don't ever click the big green download button. Uh, depending on what operating system you're using, you click on that so i'm using windows i'll click on windows um and it'll download the hamachi setup so those are all you need to download from the internet so i'm actually going to just go back to here so we have some background to look at okay so you'll see in downloads we have hamachi and the ts3 mp win64 release zip folder now it is compressed so you'll need something to unzip it like 7-zip so I'm actually just going to instead of like extracting it to a specific folder for now i'm just going to extract it all right here. I always find that a lot easier. It might take a second. That's okay. Let it do its job. Why is it? Oh my lord, it is moving so slow. Wow. That's okay. So now we have that uncompressed, and that's the whole entire shebang we need for anything related to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morwen multiplayer. Now I'm actually going to rename this. I'm going to just rename it Morrowind... MP. I suggest you do something around the similar lines, like Mormon MP, Mormon Multiplayer, Mormon with Friends, just so you know what you've got. And I'm actually going to move it over just to somewhere easier to remember. Local Disk C. Um, and we'll actually also set up Hamachi now. So I already have Hamachi set up, so I'm not going to go through the setup wizard, installer, whatever, have it, you know. Um, it'll ask you some stuff, pick and choose which ones you're going to, you know, just figure out how you're going to do the setup of Hamachi like your way because it just asks you the questions for a basic setup or something. Um, and then Hamachi will open. And here's my Hamachi. Um, and that's all you need for now. We'll get back to Hamachi in a moment. But now that we have the Morrowind multiplayer files, we're going to want to open them. And there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of it you don't really have to worry about, which is good, because a lot of it looks relatively confusing. Um, for us, we really only need to worry about the OpenMW launcher, uh, TS3MP.exe, 
and then the client default.config is the server.exe and the server default.config. We'll go over those all in detail in a moment. The first thing you want to do once you have this completely unzipped and moved where you want is to go to the OpenMW launcher. So the Morrowind multiplayer relies on the OpenMW launcher and it comes prepackaged with it. So that means that um, you can't play Morrowind multiplayer with like a base version of Morrowind. It has to be the OpenMW engine running the game, which is fine. I mean, the OpenMW engine is really, really amazing. Um, so it's good. You know, it's a win-win if you're not playing with OpenMW as of yet. But we want to open the OpenMW launcher. And it's trying to protect my PC, but that's literally, it's just the launcher, so I'm going to let it through. Um, now, in here, you can set up Morrowind however you want, however you want to play. Uh, make sure you have at least Tribunal and Blood Moon enabled. Uh, I have a couple of mods. They're not enabled because I'm still trying to figure out how to get mods to function in Morrowind multiplayer. If I ever figure that out, I will let you all know. But make sure you at least have Tribunal and Blood Moon. And then you can set up the graphics however you want. You can do these kind of settings. Advanced settings, which you can like actually change how some of the stuff in Morrowind works. Like um, uncapped damage fatigue. Or um, where is it? Permanent barter disposition changes. Things like that, you know. Uh, the best one in the advanced settings, if you are looking is this one right here. If your PC can handle it, which I really hope it can, it is Mormon after all, um, upping the viewing distance to something like seven or eight cells lets you see so much more of the game. It is amazing. But that's really all you need. Just go in here, fiddle with the settings you want to fiddle with, and then click play. And that'll save all your settings. And it will take you to the Elder Scrolls 3 MP server browser. Now, this is where for... Everybody who is not going to be making a server to play with their friends, if they just want to see what more multiplayer is about and like go on somebody else's server, that's already here in the server browser. That's it. This is, this is as far as you need to go. There's nothing else you can do. You just find one that's not password protected that might have a person or two in it and play. <laughs> Simple, easy, breezy, beautiful. Now, if you are making a server with your friends, which I highly recommend that you make a server for you and up to four other people to play, um, I'm just going to exit out of that. Now that we have our open MW stuff set up, the next thing we're going to want to do, specifically if you are going to be the friend hosting the server, is to open up the server default.config file over here. Now, if you've never fiddled around with something like this, it might be a little confusing. I'm going to make it real simple and easy for you. So, if you are going to be hosting your server via Hamachi, um, the local address will have to be the Hamachi address that you have, which is, we'll get to that in a moment, I'm just going to go through some of this. Um, the port, you don't have any need to worry about. Maximum players, not something you can really do with Hamachi, to my knowledge. I think you can only have up to five networks um, connected in Hamachi, so don't worry about that. Um, you can have the host name be whatever you want doesn't really matter because um this is a like a lan an online lan server so you're not actually going to be connecting via the server browser so nobody will see the name of the server you can have a password if you're playing with your buddies i don't recommend it there's no need um and then the plugins this is actually i'm fairly certain this is where you can like get the mods to functionally work is in the plugins menu um and the master server stuff for anything that's actually connected to the the master server of TS or TES 3 MP. Um, so if you are the server owner, the runner of the server, this is super important. You need this. Now, what I want you to do with your Hamachi, I hope you haven't touched it yet. What it'll do is when you first download it, it'll ask you to either join a network or create a network. Now, I already have my network created, so I'm not going to do that. It's really simple. Um, I said I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not going to actually make a new, or new network, but this is what the create a network thing looks like. If you're the server runner, you need to do this. Your network ID can be whatever you want the network's name to be. Name it like Morwen with the homies or the boys take on Dagoth or I don't know. Give it a password, any password, something easy that you'll remember so you can get back in to that network when you want, confirm it, and then bam, you're going to be in that network and all you want to do or all you're going to have to do to let your friends join that network 
is give them the name of the network you made and the password and they should be able to join. Now I will say, if you want this to work, to be able to play Morrowind multiplayer like via online LAN, you will have to let, and this is for everybody, you will all have to let Hamachi through your firewall. Now I know that can be, you know, you might, you might be like, oh, I don't want to do that. I've never had problems with it. Hamachi has always been a very safe application for me to use. We've never had any problems. So if you're okay with it, let it through your firewall and we can continue. If not, you might have to use one of the other um, applications that's not Hamachi that does the same thing as Hamachi. Though I don't know if you'll have to open the firewall for those either. Either way, I'm not concerned about it. So if I'm not, hopefully you're not. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, I am quite smart sometimes. But if you are not willing to let it through your firewall, this is where it ends, sadly. And you'll have to probably find another way to do it. But if you are letting it through your firewall, Merry Christmas. So with Hamachi set up and opened through the firewall, what you need to do as the server runner is take this IP address and get rid of this IP address, the 0.0.0, .0, .0 and paste in the IP address from Hamaji to there. You can leave the port alone, you can leave everything else alone. The only other thing we're going to have to change is down here in master server, where it has enabled equals true, we want it to be enabled equals false. And make sure you leave that space in between the, uh, uh, the equals sign and the numbers or the equal sign and false it needs to be there to my knowledge um and make sure that when you are done with those two things that you save the file otherwise what you did won't stay there okay so that's pretty much all you need to do as the server runner to have the server be set up and ready now if your friends actually want to join the server you are going to and i believe the server owner doesn't have to do this, but I would recommend it just in case. For anybody who's joining the server, they need to go to their tes 3 mp config and they need to change the destination address from localhost to the IP that Hamachi is using to run the network. Um, and if you guys do put a password in, you would put space and then whatever the password is. Now... We don't need to worry about anything else here, so we're going to save it. There we go, just like that. Nice and beautiful. And you are pretty much ready to play the Elder Scrolls 3 multiplayer. <clears throat> so the server runner will need to start the server. And it might ask you to do this. It's okay, you can run it. It's okay, you can run it. It's fine, trust me. So this is the server. Whenever anything is happening in the server, you know, the server will let you know about it. You can just minimize that. Don't close it, because you need it open to actually play the server. And now that the server is open, everybody who wants to play, you, the server, runner, and your friends, just click on tes3mp.exe. And it really, really, really wants to have me... It has not done that before. It's so, so interesting. But here we are. It's loading up the more multiplayer stuff. And I'm just going to walk you through, like, the first minute of more multiplayer. So when you give yourself a name, remember the name you gave yourself. Just make it, like, your actual name so you don't forget. So I'm just going to put Nick, because this is how you sign back into the multiplayer, um, specifically on the server you're playing, and make a password for that character. So I'm just going to make my password 123, something simple and easy to remember. So I'm not making a real character here, but this is how you make your character. It's exactly like actual Morwind, except you're not standing in a building. Okay, so you can make your character however you want. We're just running through it. And you come here, completely skip the Sergacia Sergala stuff, um, and like the intro cutscene. And you are pretty much free to leave whenever you want. You won't see your buddies in here until you leave the Census and Exus office. Once you leave, your buddies, you'll be able to see them wherever, but you have to leave at least once. If you come back in, uh, and they come back in after you leave. They'll be in here. But if you're not seeing them, you definitely got to at least exit the census and exit office once. I will recommend at least one person grab the quest from uh, Celis Gravius because your quests are all connected. So, say, if somebody does a Fighter's Guild quest, everybody will get a journal update for that. 
I don't know how to change that. I don't even know if there is a way to change that. There probably is. I'm not too worried about it because, like I said, if you're playing this with your friends, the idea is for you all to do the quests together anyway. So, but that's pretty much it for Morwind. Uh, for actually like getting into the game and stuff, just remember what you named your character and remember the password you gave them. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get that character back without asking the server owner to go look in the files to see what your password is uh, and your character name is, which can be really annoying. So just remember your name, remember your password, and that's all. That's all we need. So I'm going to quit Morwin. Um, and whenever you're done with the server, you can just exit out of it. I'm going to exit out of it because I'm done with it. So, I think that actually covers pretty much everything you need to know about setting up a online LAN multiplayer server with your buddies for more multiplayer via Hamachi. If you have any questions about any of this, because it can be confusing, I am trying my best to make it as not confusing as possible, but it is still very confusing sometimes if you've never done it before. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer them as quickly as possible. I'm really good at doing that, so... I will answer them very, very fast if you have any. Um, and another thing is, with all of this, setting up a server via Hamachi, um, a lot of this stuff for setting up a server via Hamachi works in a lot of other games. This is how I host uh, small servers for Minecraft, for me and my buddies, for Project Zomboid, um, Unturned, pretty much anything that you can like host your own server on. You can use Hamachi to host a small local one for just you and your buddies. Of course, I mean, you could actually, like, host your own server by, like, port forwarding and doing all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. That's a bit more complex than my level, and I'm not trying to make a big-ass server. So, Hamachi really works well for small servers. But, yes, a lot of this stuff carries over to making servers in other games. Now, of course, there will be differences, but a lot of it is, once you know how to do it once, it's a lot easier to figure it out the second time. So I hope this helped. I hope that everybody gets to enjoy Morrowind multiplayer as much as I've been enjoying it. This is an absolute blast. If you've never played Morrowind before, this is a really good way to experience it with your friends if you're not comfortable with it or you've only ever played something like Skyrim, which is fine. I mean, some people out there would be all like, play Morrowind by yourself the first time, like, you know, play solo, you know, but it's a hard game. It is a hard game to get into, especially um if you've only ever played skyrim so this is a really good way if you and your buddies have ever wanted to play morrowind to do it you can figure it out together and it's a lot of fun believe me um one last note before i leave if this helped subscribe to the channel because you know i will have a lot more morrowind content i'm assuming you're here about the morrowind content for this at least so if you want to see morrowind content subscribe like so i know that this was helpful for you guys i want this to be helpful and um, like I said, comment if you have any questions. I'll answer them as soon as possible. And I really hope everybody enjoys the Morrowind multiplayer. And until next time, I'm actually going to go play some Morrowind myself because I kind of want to play it now. So stay safe out there, friends. Enjoy Morrowind. And peace out.